I never know what my staff is going to put on the green screen, right? So I, I'm nervous on what's going to be behind me while we're talking. Karen, thank you so much for, for meeting. This is exciting. Congratulations on this. I would never, let's talk about the story, uh, two law students getting together and boundaries start to be crossed. Um, tell us a bit more about the story and, and sort of what inspired it. You know, I think a bunch of stuff started coming out around consent, you know, a couple of years ago. And I was really interested in kind of creating something that I was like, what if we create something that feels like it's the first person experience of how a particular woman is experiencing uh, romance over the course of the evening. Title of, of your short, I would never, uh, maybe kind of go in about that so we can kind of put it in context. Yeah, it's about two friends and some boundaries crossed. So what would one friend do to another? And there's a whole little thing about stealing French fries, and so what? what is the thing that you do and not do? Right, um, I steal fries. Do you in real life steal fries? Yeah, I mean, I don't think you're a fry stealer. I think you're a fry sharer when it's on somebody yeah. else's plate. I like your perspective. You have yeah. good perspective on things. Excuse you. Oh, you're right. That's really embarrassing. I'm all queefs. So this is a big year for you. You know, you're back on tour doing stand up again. You're very funny. Your stories are very relatable. But how do you come up with your bits? Like, where does this come from? Um, I come up with stand up like a lot of times it's stuff that it's a little bit of wish fulfillment. And it's like, how can I make something funny that maybe I don't have control over? And then just like and poke fun at it and make myself laugh and hopefully make an audience laugh. That's how, uh, and then, you know, looking at your own life and poking fun at yourself, I think that's always, always the move. <laughs> now, I am generally not a morning person. I've had to start to be one just with how our work schedule is. Uh, um, uh, you, morning person, night person, when are you the most creative? Owl, I mean, I'm a total owl. And stand up is at night, so it's, it's normally my schedule runs really late. I, I'm creative at night as well, but uh, but coffee, Java does it for me in the morning. Are you a Java or tea person? I love coffee. Love coffee. Yes, I love coffee. Do tell you what, I'm going to uh, send you a little goodie bag, an out there swag bag. I'm going to send you a little bit of coffee, Illy coffee, all right, uh, and an out there mug courtesy of comda.com. So you're going to get these two items and a bunch of other out there swag. Listen, gifts. Always welcome. Any like swag, coffee swag, honey. You found your way to my heart. Yeah. If if I have to bribe to get friends, I'm there. <laughs> it's not bribing. It's gifting. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Kaya, stop. Time for a giveaway. Okay, so I gave Karen a little out there swag bag but I think my fans deserve it as well. So if you follow the instructions in the post, you get a chance to win some incredible Illy coffee and we're giving away an Illy espresso machine as well. So it's an awesome, awesome gift. We got thousands of other gifts to give away, plus some swag like these awesome big, they're like 15 ounce of coffee or whatever kind of beverage you want to put in here. Um, amazing out there mugs, uh, courtesy of Conva.com. So please, please, Follow, subscribe, like, follow the instructions in the post, and I will see you guys winning a lot of great stuff out there. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media at Melissa DeMarco for more exclusive content with your favorite celebs. I'll see you guys out there.